Navigating Politeness, Respecting and Valuing Diversity in English. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, we're going to dive into a very important topic in conversational English, respecting and valuing diversity. This isn't just about grammar or vocabulary. It's about understanding cultural differences and how they impact our communication. Remember, it's not just what you say but how you say it that matters. In English, just like in any language, cultural context greatly affects the way we speak. This means that the language we use, our tone, our body language, and even the way we make requests or offers can vary a lot depending on our cultural background. It's essential to be aware of these differences to communicate effectively and respectfully. One of the greatest things about English is that it's spoken in so many parts of the world, by people from various cultures. This diversity is what makes the language so rich and exciting. When we're communicating with someone from a different culture, misunderstandings can happen easily. It's important to remember that these misunderstandings are usually not due to a lack of English proficiency, but rather a lack of cultural understanding. For example, in some cultures, it's considered polite to refuse an offer at first, even if you actually want to accept it. In others, directness is highly valued and beating around the bush could be seen as deceitful. Understanding these cultural nuances can greatly enhance your communication skills. Being aware of cultural differences is the first step. The next one is learning to adapt to them. This doesn't mean you have to change who you are or completely conform to another culture. It's more about being respectful and understanding. When communicating in English, try to be open-minded, patient, and understanding. If you're unsure about something, don't be afraid to ask. Most people appreciate the effort you're making to understand their culture and communication style. Ultimately, respecting and valuing diversity comes down to having empathy and being considerate. If we treat others the way we want to be treated, the world becomes a better place for everyone. Practicing respect isn't just about using the right words. It's about showing genuine interest in the other person's culture, being open to different perspectives, and acknowledging that there's always more to learn. Valuing diversity, on the other hand, means appreciating the richness and variety that different cultures bring to the English language. It's what makes English such a vibrant, living language. That's it for today's lesson. Remember, respecting and valuing diversity is more than just a skill for speaking English. It's a skill for life. It can help you make connections, deepen relationships, and broaden your perspective. So, keep practicing, and don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. See you in our next lesson where we will continue our journey in the realm of conversational English. Happy learning, and remember, every interaction is an opportunity to learn something new.